Hey, happy Saturday, my loves. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> Let's uh, get started here and see what spirit has for us on this beautiful Saturday. I hope you guys are enjoying the day and putting yourself on a pedestal. All right. Let's um, have a look here. I am still... Anybody wants a reading, guys, just click on the description below my video and email me. Okay? I'm seeing this masculine... Um, I'm feeling like you have to make some kind of major decision, um, maybe this week because there's something or, or spirit wants you to, because there's something going on that's causing conflict in your life. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is just, you know, the way you're feeling inside, this is just tearing you up. Or if you're maybe arguing with someone, um, it looks to me like it's more like, <clears throat> an inner um, thought process that is uh, really bothering you. All right, Spirit is saying you don't have all the information to make a decision right now. So you're sitting on the fence in the moment and you're wanting to make a decision because you're at this point where you're feeling like you want to get rid of this, whatever it is, because it's just too much. All right, just wait a little while longer, Spirit is saying, and get the rest. There's things going on in the background you're not aware of. This is going to be a justice for you in the end, okay? So don't rush and make a rash decision, in other words. All right, guys? All right, let's go further. I'm picking up on this, looks like maybe a single mom in the middle of this layout, okay? And over here, I'm seeing a tower moment regarding just balancing the uh the checkbook here just not enough money coming in um tired of this just always struggling and it just feels terrible all right but spirit is saying in a very short while you are going to feel this um happiness overflowing from your cup and good news coming in uh that's going to bring that type of emotion in for you okay so something good is on its way to you my empress so <clears throat> you know don't worry guys worrying doesn't change a freaking thing right it just makes you worried but if you think about it does it change your situation when you worry no it clouds your mind it clouds your mind and it, and it keeps you from thinking through thinking rationally about, you know, thinking through things the right way in a rational sense so you can make a good decision and listen to your intuition. All right. So here I'm seeing somebody is, uh, this has to do with a commitment with this queen of wands here. I'm seeing a victory for someone who's moving toward this queen. So this is definitely um, someone who wants to be with this feminine here um, and has something to, you're committed to her. You're committed to being with her. You're ready to do just about anything. This is somebody that you think the world of. Um, you want to be with this woman. All right. And I'm seeing a victory here for you. I'm seeing you moving toward her and I'm seeing that this is going to balance out soon. All right. So you are going to end up with her. And I do see this commitment card next to the victory card. All right. So things are going to work out with this relationship. All right. So if I'm talking to you, please comment and put relationship so I know, um, you know, who, what it's involved with. You know what I mean? Because I talk about different things. And if you guys just say it's me, like I don't know which thing it you're talking about. All right. I'm seeing something. Somebody's working really hard um, and very focused on a child or children. You're working hard toward making something happen regarding a child or children. I see this coming in for you very quick. All right. In the middle of this coming in and you diligently working, I heard day and night. So I don't know if you're just, you know, it's your mind going constantly about these children or this child, just, you know, super hyper focused on this, you know, needing to get the result that, that you're wanting and willing to do anything to get it. Yeah, like a hyper focusing on this child, right? And I'm seeing you losing sleep and I'm seeing you also just having anxiety, so much anxiety over this, okay? What did I just say? I just said that 
feeling, um, you know, tortured inside and worrying does not change a situation. It worsens it, right? Um, it worsens it in the sense that you can no longer think clearly and you can't focus on what you need to do to bring out a positive outcome. So if you can master that, guys, you've got mostly everything licked. If you can get yourself to a point where you can tell yourself, listen, I feel terrible inside. My mind is going 20 miles an hour. I'm worried. I feel sick inside. I don't know how to fix this. All of that stuff, right? But if you could tell yourself that all of that stuff is just clouding your mind and isn't helping the situation and focus on what's going to help the situation, right? You can master this because I've almost got this licked, okay, where I don't uh, really worry about things, you know, where other people are concerned, guys, we have to get ourselves to this point where everyone has their own journey. Everybody's in a different place. And by the way, everyone is exactly where they're supposed to be right now. Okay. So, you know, we all have to learn that we can't control other people. We can't control our children. We can't control our parents. We can't control our loved ones. We can't control our husbands and wives. Everyone has their own journey. Everybody agreed to come back here at this time to learn and teach and grow and eventually become really good to your brethren. That's what God wants. And that's what the fifth dimension is all about, right? So that's where a bunch of us are headed. Um, question for you guys. Are you seeing the people around you waking up now? I'm starting to see the ones I thought were never going to wake up starting to wake up. If you're seeing that, put wake up in the comments. Put, you know, seeing people waking up um, because I'm very interested in this. And by the way, if you saw yesterday's video, did you click on that link? Because guys, I thought I dropped it for you. I thought you'd find it so interesting about, you know, what's happening to your body right now and all the symptoms that go with it and why it's happening. And, you know, a lot of you are going to find that so interesting. All right, I'm seeing this world opportunity coming in. All right, but they're saying first, you have to let go of all the past baggage and you have to be strong about this, okay? In order to help bring in this opportunity and we all know what this is, we're all waiting on it, right? The Knight of Pentacles is someone bringing in the pentacles here. The Knight brings in the pentacle, all right? And they're saying use your intuition on this. Use your intuition and keep focusing on raising your vibration so that you can help manifest it in. All right, let's continue. All right, my loves. So here we have <clears throat> my beautiful empaths, okay? You're here for such a special reason, and you guys are the star right now. We are in the age of Aquarius. You guys, this is your stage, okay? You are the light. You are mostly all empaths, even those of you who think you're not. Um, you chose to be here right now in this time to see all of the beautiful things getting ready to open up for us, okay? Things that have never been seen before, um, by humanity. Um, but I'm seeing too that this is going to help you feel, it's going to give you a feeling of, uh, being free. It's going to free you up to do all the things that you've always wanted to do. Okay. And you're going to be celebrating when this comes in for you, this manifestation I just mentioned, and it has to do with the Six of Pentacles, okay? Six of Pentacles is unexpected windfall. Money's coming in. It's money's to be given, to be shared, to be received. It's This card is all about the money, guys, okay? Um, all right, let's go forward. Let's see what other good news we have for today on this beautiful Saturday. Um, guys, you can help me out. I don't know what's going on, but if you're uh, seeing that you're, you, they threw you off of the, the sub um, you know, button, please uh, click on that sub button again. Um, they're, you know, everybody's having issues with their channels. I'm sure you're hearing other people complaining. All right. Some of us that are light workers here that are trying to do good, 
I, I almost feel like they're trying to bring, you know, bring us down and see us not do well. Okay. So it's important that you guys have my back here and you help me out. So even if, you know, it takes one second, even if on the daily, whenever you decide to watch any of my videos, if you click on the sub button, you know, and the other two buttons, I love you for it. And it's really going to uh, be a way to give back to me. Um, if you would like to do so. All right. And here I'm seeing this queen of pentacles going through some kind of stuckness in regard to your relationship today. Okay. Um, this is just as, as much as this might seem that it, it may, it, it might, I can speak. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to spit it out. As much as this may seem to you like it's something very um, detrimental to your relationship or could be something very serious uh, as far as like a wrench thrown into your relationship, um, something you're going through, it, it spirit is saying it's nothing, okay? And just... They they're keep they keep showing the money cards like you have nothing more to worry about. Everybody is going to basically want to forgive everybody when this Ten of Pentacles comes in. Ten of Pentacles is next to the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is bringing the Ten of Pentacles in. All right, this is around your relationship. It's around you, and you're looking wealthy here. That's right. I said you are looking wealthy here, Aquarius. This card, the Queen of Pentacles, is is living a life of luxury. It's being uh, feeling secure and just being wealthy, feeling like you there's nothing to want for. Okay, and when this comes in, and it looks like it's coming in any minute. All right, you and your significant other are going to be over the moon, okay? Nothing is going to be upsetting anymore because I have to be honest with you guys. What I feel is that a lot of you, even if it's inadvertently, you're arguing about the stress of money, okay? Even if the arguments aren't, you're not saying, you know, it's the money, it's the money. It has to do with the stress that's being put on each and every one of you right now regarding the finances. And this is working on your psyches without you even being, you know, knowing it without being, you know, like conscious of it, so to speak. Okay. But guys, this 10 of Pentacles is saying you're about to have it all. You, you, the stars are not out of reach for you. This is when you get this card, you've arrived. You have everything. You have love in your life. You have celebration with your family. Everybody's over the moon. There's money everywhere. All of those pentacles represent money. Okay, so it just doesn't get any better than that, guys. Um, seeing something here regarding... Um, all right, this could be a, a somebody's family member... Um, this is about some, someone's family member or some people that you're staying away from right now. This is somebody, wow, 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 guys, this is really good. This is somebody who has come to a realization recently that the people that you're surrounding yourself with are not good for you. Yay. Okay. I'm very excited. All right. Because this is going to open up so many good things for you. You've been spending time by yourself. All right. You've been thinking about, you know, what you, what brought you up to this point and all your previous friends and what you guys have been doing and where you met them and what it's brought you. Okay. And then in the center we have deceit, okay? So a lot of the people that you've been with, you're thinking, have ended up deceiving you. Guys, this, when you're in this and you're thinking this, this is for all of you that are thinking this right now, all right? This is a major shift you're going through. This is wonderful because we attract uh, whatever uh, vibration we're on, wherever our, um, you know, whatever level we're vibrating on, this is what we're attracting in. So if you're attracting people who continually do terrible things to you, get over on you, you may be vibrating slightly higher than them. I mean, it, let me give you an example. If you say you're in a relationship and somebody does something to you behind your back, it's a third party, whatever, and hurts you. 
okay? Um, and you can say to yourself and mean it, I would never do that to someone I love. How could they do that to me? All right, you are vibrating much higher than they are. All right, but if these have been your friends up until now and one after another they're deceiving you and you're always just waiting for something somebody to do something shitty to you and you're going you're hanging out with these people in, in a state of defensiveness because you're not trusting them right um this is not the norm okay this is far from the norm and if this is you you have come to the conclusion that you're ready to level up you're leveling up you're seeing this as clear as day and seeing it is the first step to you raising your vibration so you're seeing this like it doesn't get any clearer for you. I'm so proud of you. Okay. I really, really, really am because now you're going to start making changes. I'm going to see if I can get more on this. You're going to level up. And because you're doing that, beautiful, positive things are going to start coming your way. Okay. All right. They're talking about this emperor here. This could be a father figure. This could be for some of you who were brought up with a, with a father who, for whatever reason, um, you perceived it like he left you out in the cold. He was always judging you. And this left you feeling confused about who you are and, you know, how your relationships are supposed to look. Okay. And also is making you feel stuck in life. So I feel like I'm talking to the same person or people who I was just talking to about leveling up. Okay. Um, we come to a time in our lives when we can disconnect and say, you know what? It doesn't matter what my upbringing was. It doesn't matter who the pe what the people around me were doing, how they were acting. That's not who I choose to be. That's not what I want to be. I want to be somebody different. And you can totally just revamp yourself, okay? Look to someone that you look up to, uh, some kind of characteristic about this person that you think is great, somebody really maybe trustworthy, somebody who doesn't lie, somebody who operates with integrity, you know, it could be any little thing. And take that on, take it on into your personality. You're not changing who you are uh, spiritually, you're leveling up, okay? You're becoming the person you're supposed to be. That's more of an explanation for that. You are now starting to come into your authenticity, all right? Now I'm seeing a masculine here. Um, wow, a lot of lessons today, guys. I'm seeing this masculine. Um, you're going through something toxic here. I feel like whatever this is, you, you, you're doing the same thing or you're, you, you keep uh, putting yourself around the same person that is bringing in all this toxicity and you are a good person. You don't belong around this, right? And you're starting to realize it. So you're wanting something more. Now you're focusing on this knight of wands here. This knight of wands is manifesting you into their life at the same time. Okay, so I don't know what your relationship is with this person. Uh, this could be someone from another lifetime trying to uh, come into your life at this point. And you could be wanting this person, ready for this person to come in because you both have lessons and teachings to um, tend to here. Okay, and now I'm seeing this feminine um, this, this is a queen of swords. This is somebody who's getting ready uh, for this uh, financial surprise to come into your life. Okay. Um, you've been working on yourself. You've been taking some time to nurture yourself. You're also, uh, looks like you've been helping out this king of pentacles, possibly with his health. And you're going to see this benefit. Okay. I don't know where it's coming from, but I see some new income stream coming into you, some new monies, like a new financial future. This could mean that it's, it's, it, you know, somebody's going to give something to you. Um, you just have something coming to you from the universe financially. Um, it could mean a lot of different things. Okay. But that's what I'm seeing. You can expect some money coming in. Um, as a blessing for being the person that you are, 
you're a wonderful person other people see that in you all right and somebody that has a broken heart you're at your wits end and you're thinking about something that you want okay um you're you're praying for this you're wanting it desperately you're gonna get it all right this is the card of want coming to fruition alongside the broken heart and you getting clarity on it so so spirit is saying get clarity on that broken heart and figure out what was the lesson here what did you learn from this uh broken heart all right because you're still feeling sad and alone to this day so that tells me i heard to this day so this has been going on for a long time all right so whoever you are you've been wanting something different for a long time but instead you're feeling like you always get the shit end of the stick you get this broken heart and you get you know to be sad and feeling alone and like nobody cares about you all right but the five of cups is a great reminder of staying in a state of gratefulness. We see this person looking at three spilled cups in front of them and not seeing the two full ones behind him. All right. Remember, guys, staying in a state of gratefulness is the bomb. This is what brings in, uh, you know, money and positivity and love. Just being in a state of gratefulness gratefulness because it raises your frequency and your vibrations so you're gonna start attracting uh, vibrational things and everything vibrates everything is energy but you're going to start attracting these vibrational things that are on your level and this is going to be people places and things this is going to be all things including people so this is the magic guys this is the magic that uh we need to learn to get to be where we want to be in life, to get all the things that we dream about our whole lives, okay? There is a magic, um, what, do you, what, do you have, what should we call it? A, a magical way to go about your life, to attract in what you want, all right? And it works like magic because it is. All right, guys, have a great day.